Our game comes to you from the largest city in North Carolina. Charlotte, welcome to this battle of NFC South rivals. Carolina matches up against New Orleans. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get today's game started. Campbell looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Sanford. He won't have a chance for a return here. The Panthers will start this drive from the 20. So, John, we have two of the most talented defenses in the league featured in this game. Yeah, both of these teams bring a lot of talent to the table. Neither has any glaring holes in their front seven or in their secondary. So that makes it very dangerous on the defensive side of the ball. Number 20, the deep man. Hand it off to the fullback. Freeman is there on the stop at the 28. You can't have a good running attack without blocking. But blocking alone won't get you what you need. You got to have a back who can find the holes when they're there. Ball on their own 28. Ball on the 28 yard line. New Orleans comes out in a 4 3. He gets the carry. Misses the tackle. Pope is there for the tackle. Good gain on the ground gives them what they needed for a first. That's just good running. They sent a couple of blitzes in to try and stop them in the backfield. But he just broke free and got past the sticks for a first down. First Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38-yard line. The Saints come out on a nickel pack with a counter play. Walsh is there on the stop at the 48-yard line. We'll move the chains again after another long gain on the ground. You know, I was talking to the coach the other day, and he said he wanted to emphasize the run a little more. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Ball at about midfield. The Saints with a four-man front. A little misdirection. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. And he chases him down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. I'll tell you, he's one of the most knowledgeable defenders in the league. He knows how to play the game, and he always knows what's going on. Second and long. Ball on the 46-yard line. Only one man back. Brown with a man in motion. They're coming with the blitz. Gets the pass off. Jackson cuts him down at the 45. They beat the blitz on a good throw by Brown. They knew the defense was coming on a blitz when the pressure doesn't get to the quarterback quickly enough somebody's going to be open downfield. And that's exactly what happened on that play. New Orleans comes out in a 4-3. For the counter play. Butler is there for the tackle at the 38. Excellent run for a first down. They brought some extra heat with a blitz, but he was able to find some room and pick up the first. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Hey, watch that three! Let's go! Only one man back. Number 87. In motion. Looking up here. Look at that power. Butler comes up to make the play. At the 29. Jackson is the injured player on the field. He'll be coming out for this next play, so we'll find out what the story is. Second and one coming up. Come on. The Saints with a four-man front. Hand it off. Troy is there on the stop. At the 24. It's another running play, and they'll pick up another first down. Hey, when things are clicking like this, you just want to keep going for as long as you can. And this is the ninth play of this run. Let's go now. The Saints come out in a 4-3. All day, baby, come on. Cross play to the left. He's brought down behind the line for a 
I'll tell you, if you want to run outside the tackles, you have to seal off the inside and kick out the outside to have some kind of hole to run through. That just didn't happen on that play. Ball on the 25-yard line. Ball on the 25-yard line. The Saints come out in a nickel pack. Throws it. Jumps up. He has it. Mill comes up to make the play at the four-yard line. This is their fifth first down on the drive. And one of the keys has been the performance of this offensive line. These guys have really handled the line of scrimmage. Not only in the running game, but also in pass protection. Gets the toss to the right. Carter stops him for negative yardage. They did a good job swarming to the ball and stopping that play. That's always what you have to do to the run. You have to get penetration. You have to get in their backfield before they can get started. And that's exactly what they did. It's second and goal at the seven-yard line. Only one man back. With the pass, almost on the second. He jumped early. The defense has to watch it on plays like that. When you touch the opposing player, the whistle blows, and they assess a penalty. There's no chance for a defensive player to try to reset. Jackson was taken out earlier with a minor injury, but now returns to the game. Under pressure, gets the pass off. Touchdown, Panthers. Very interesting defensive call that time, John. They were looking for the pass, and everything developed just the way they expected. They just couldn't make the play. Kirkland comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. Hall accounted for the majority of their yardage on that long drive and led them into the end zone. When you can go to one guy and get that many yards on a single drive, that's pretty good. This one is taken by number 89. You know that the offense has their eyes set on tying this thing up here on this drive. We'll have to see what they're able to put together. First and 10. Ball on the 20 yard line. Here we go, baby. Play hard and fast, baby. Along with a man in motion. He gets the handoff on the door. Maestro comes up to make the play at the 23. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. Second and seven. Ball on the 23 yard line. All day, baby. Come on. Do something, do something. Alone will work out of the shotgun. Gets rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Number 89 was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Receiver on the play. Third and seven. Ball on the 23 yard line. Nickelback in this time. Alone sends a man in motion. Looking to run it here. Setting up play action. Throwing. Almost picked up. Got just a little too much air under it. Sanford will go back to accept this punt. Fair catch. 
Fair catch made at the 35 yard line. Ball on their own 35. Start the drive at the 35 yard line. First and 10. The Saints line up at a 4 3. Mill is there on the stop at the 47. That's exactly the way you want to run this play. Perfect pitch by the quarterback. The back didn't have to break stride, and they bring it downfield for a good game. Ball is midfield. The Saints with a four-man front. Looking for room. Setting up play action. He can't get it. Great effort that time, John. He's clearly one of the best in the league. Yeah, he's one of those guys who's been playing for a while now. And let me tell you, he might never be better than he is right now. Now they're looking at second and long after the sack. The Saints come out in a nickel package. Dropping back. Pressure. Gets rid of it. And he can't hang on. A lot of teams use their short passing game like a running game. Lots of short, high percentage passes that allows them to keep possession while moving the ball down the field. Sometimes those short passes can turn into a big game. But as a receiver on a short pattern or outlet route, you have to stay disciplined and make the catch before you try and create extra yardage. The Saints come out in a dime package. Throws it. Kelly is there for the tackle at the 35-yard line. This is a good play for third and long. When you get that kind of execution from your offense in a situation like that, you're doing something right. Take off. And you can't turn the ball over. So after the interception, now it's first and ten. The Panthers line up in a four-three. They'll go with a play fake with the throw. Knocked away. He has a knack for making a big play. And that was another one right there. Mathis was the intended receiver on that play. Second and ten. Ball on the 13 yard line. Frazier lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Crosses it right. Sharp step up. Stone is there for the tackle at the 26-yard line. A powerful run to get the first. When you got a free man coming at you, sometimes the best thing to do is put your shoulders down and take them head on. First and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. 
Carolina lines up in a 4-3. He hands it off. They're going to spot this one at the 30. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Second and five. Ball on the third and five. The Panthers line up in a 4-3. With the pass, drops the interception. That was a good play, turned bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well. Bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. Third and five. Ball on the third and five. The Panthers come out in a nickel pack. Throws it. Turns and makes the catch. And he's ridden out at the 43. Look here. He does two things perfectly on this play. One, he watches the ball all the way into his hands to make the catch. And two, he shows great awareness and gets both feet down in bounds. Hey, that's a nice looking play. With a man in motion. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 7 0. Panthers. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Ball on their own 43. There for the tackle at the 44. Right now, they need to keep going at the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they'll be able to break one for a big game. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 44 yard line. With a counter play, O'Neill comes up to make the play. When you get penetration like that, it's very hard for the offense to get positive yardage. Eighth play of this drive. Dime back into this play. Gets rid of it, and it's intercepted. The 30, the 20, and he showboats his way toward the end zone. And they're in. Touchdown. A great return after the interception. Good blocking, and no one was able to run him down. Kirkman comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. Now, if the quarterback is still rattled after that play, we'll find out on this first throw. The coach will probably go with something simple to get some of his confidence back. But one thing he can't be worried about is throwing that football. I think he'll come out firing to show us all that he's ready to make a play. The grab comes in to kick off. Back deep to return. He got all of that one. The kick sails out of the end zone. The defense made a great play the last time on the field, intercepting a pass and taking it back for a touchdown. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Panthers with a four-man front. A little misdirection. Number 22 is there on the stop at the 32. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. First and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. 
Defense, get ready. Looking to run it here. They'll spot this one at the 38-yard line. Frazier runs it through the middle again of about six. Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38-yard line. Carolina comes out in their nickel package with the pass. They like to throw it to the sidelines in situations like that. The throw was just a little off. Thomas was his intended target. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. The Panthers line up in a 4-3. And off to the tailback. Joyce is there on the stop at the 44-yard line. Great run there. That'll be a first down. He really ran well there. He gets some great blocks, and he has patience as he picks up the first down. First and 10. They line up in the I formation. Nice play fit. Gets the pass off. Lucas is there for the tackles. They've got something going here. Yeah, it's been one first down after another. They're putting together a nice looking drive here. Ball on the 29 yard line. The Panthers come out on a 4 3. Stone comes up to make the play at the 26. Frazier runs it for about three on the counter play. Second and seven. Ball on the 26 yard line. Only one man back. Where the counter play? O'Neill is there on the stop. No gain on that play as the linebacker slipped in almost unnoticed. Yeah, he did a great job getting in there. He was looking for the run before they even snapped the ball. They have to get it now to at least the 19-yard line. The Panthers come out in a dime pack. Gets the pass off. It's batted away. He needs to do a better job putting the pass in the spot where only his guy can get it. Those tip passes can turn into interceptions pretty easily. Mathis was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Campbell comes in to attempt a field goal, which would give them their first score of the day. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. This one is handled by Sanford. Carolina is looking to extend its advantage as they take over again offensively. The so they have first and ten here. At the 20 -yard line. First and ten. New Orleans goes with a four-man front. Gives the ball off. Jackson is there on the stop at the 23-yard line. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Second and seven. Ball on the 23-yard line. Go low! Go low! The Saints line up in a 4-3. Play. Freeman is there for the tackle at the 28 yard line. If they can keep getting good runs like that in the second quarter, they'll be able to use play passes the entire second half because the defense will just be thinking about stopping the run. Ball on their own 28. 
The Saints come out in a 4-3. Hand it off to the back. Number 97 is there on the stop, but they allow them to pick up the first. He picked up the first on that carry. Ball on their own 30. The backs are lined up in an eye. Number 87 comes in motion. And off to the tailback. Carter is there for the tackle at the 31. Defense looking for the run, and the runner just about got back to the line of scrimmage. There was no possibility of going up the middle and picking up anything. So it's ten. second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Come on! They ain't got nothing! I'm gonna change. Orleans using three linebackers. <laughs> Looking for room. Play action. Going for the deep man. This one falls incomplete. Have to sling it downfield looking for the big play. He just had too much arm on it. White was the intended receiver on that play. Third and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. The Saints come out in a dime package. Rosen. Gordon is there for the tackle. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy's no exception. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Saints line up in a 4-3. Brown sends a man in motion. He'll pass on first down. Gets the pass off. Almost intercepted. Number 87 was his intended target. But the had the coverage on the ball. Eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 43 yard line. Only one man back. Aimed it off to the back. Freeman comes up to make the play at the 41 yard line. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Two minute warning coming up. They'll go from the shotgun. They're blitzing, closing in. The veteran safety gets in for the sack. He continues to be a menace for opposing team. He'll come at a quarterback from the blind side and get a big hit on him. Number 89 is back to receive this kick. So the punt goes out of bounds. This is where you want to respond quickly, or this could turn into a battle for field position. I think the coach needs to look at how his team has done so far and decide if they can put a drive together with this much time left. If he doesn't think they can, or just doesn't want to risk anything, we'll probably see a few runs here. Carolina goes with a four-man front. Hand on to the tailback. O'Neal is there for the tackle. And the 13-yard line. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Ball on their own 13. Ball on the 13-yard line. Let's go, get through. Looking to run. 
on it here. Joyce comes up to make the play at the 17 yard line. Frazier takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Third and five. Ball on the 17 yard line. Sparks, the lone back. It off. O'Neal is there for the tackle at the 24-yard line. Let's go, boys. Go make a play. Watch him in. Here we come. Keep it up. Gets the pass off. Knocked away. He's got great recovery speed. And he can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Mathis was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and ten. Ball on the 24 yard line. They soft, man. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Throws it. And I think the quarterback just let that one get away. Number 89 was the intended receiver on that play. up with seven guys in the secondary. Gets the pass off. Ooh, nearly picked off. Clinton was his intended target. Peterson was there on the cover. He comes out to punt for the second time. And he chooses not to return this one. Here it gets paid at the 35-yard line. Here's a spot we're trying to add to the lead before the half can backfire. All it takes is one mistake, and it could be the defense that's scoring. That's why the quarterback the has to throw it hard to the, the sideline so that no one can line. jump the pass and pick it off. The Saints come out in a nickel package. Gets rid of it. Almost picked off. Coy had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. It wasn't even seen. That's a break for the offense. Second to ten. Ball on the 35 yard Gets the pass off. Gets his hand on it. And they say the defender made contact with the receiver too early. The defender has to do a better job of reading the receiver's eyes there so he can tell when the pass is coming. Brown scans the defense from the gun. He'll pass on first down. Throws it. He finds his man. Coy dishes out punishment at the 40-yard line. Alone didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Ball on the 40-yard line. Ball on the 40-yard line. Gets rid of it. Right on target to the wide receiver. Number 39 is there for the tackle at the 28. And again, he demonstrates his great hands. You know, when a quarterback has a guy like this who can catch about any ball he throws, he can become kind of a security blanket. If he gets in trouble or he starts feeling pressure, he can look in his direction because he has so much confidence in him. First and 10. Ball on the 28 yard line. Brown scans the defense from the gun. Here comes the blitz. Throwing. 
clearly intercepted. Right, was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Mill with the coverage. This is going to be about a 45-yard field goal attempt. But the attempt is good. McGrath will be kicking off. Squib kick here. This one is handled by number 89. So after the Have first two quarters of play, down. the score, the score is, is 17-3. Carolina. Panthers. 17. New Orleans. Three. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. The grand looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. This one is fielded by number 89. Been a rough start to this game, but they still have enough time to turn it around. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Get a now. The Panthers line up in a 4-3. He hands it off. Play action. Gets the pass off. Number 22 is there for the tackle at the 44. His powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. First Ball on their 10. own 44. Ball on the 44 yard line. Keep the throttle down. Frazier lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Dropping back the pass on first down. Gets rid of it. And it's intercepted. Room to run. The 30. The 20. The 10. 5. Dives. Touchdown. Look at this one. He makes a great play in the ball, and he gets himself in perfect position to come away with the interception. point attempt is good. Here's a situation where the offense can make this negative a positive. The defense will probably be looking to jump another path. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a stop and go route with a good pump fake. And maybe they'll get a quick score of their own. This one is taken by number 89. The last time the defense was on the field, they scored on an interception return. New Ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Carolina lines up in a 4 3. Going to the air on first down. Throws it, and he drops the pass. The coaching staff thinks that he has some of the best hands on the team. And it's surprising to see him drop a pass like that. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Out of the gun. Your sin. No stop, no stop that motor. With the throw. His man. 
and he's forced out of bounds at the 35-yard line. And so a risky call to send the corner back fires and they give up a first down. Some quarterbacks love blitzing corner because they know that there's one less cover man out there and they have a lot better shot at hitting someone in stride. Nickelback in this time. Pass play here on first down. Rowing. He hits his receiver. Reed makes the catch, but doesn't get very far. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackle. Second down and four to go. On the 40-yard line. Out of the shotgun. Drops back. Under pressure. Gets the pass off. And it's caught. Room to run. This one will be spotted at the 28. He wraps up the ball carrier. His tackle total is now four. Clinton showing great speed and quickness after the catch. When you're talking about guys that can really run, this is the guy we're talking about. He has a gear that not too many guys in this league can get to. Ball on the 28-yard line. The Panthers come out in a 4-3. And over the tailback. Stone is there for the tackle at the 24-yard line. The best backs in the league average 4 to 5 yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can Second take advantage when he sees the open. Eight to five on the play. All day, baby. Come on. Come on. Carolina goes with a four man front, dropping back. Pressure throws to the end zone. It's broken up. Now, who are they going to call the penalty on? On the defense, number 22. This one goes against the defender. Both the offensive and the defensive player have a right to go for the ball there. But it looks as though the defender just decided to tackle the receiver rather than play in the pass. It's first and goal at the one-yard line. Inside the 20 for the first time today, and we're in the third quarter. Touchdown, New Orleans. This is exactly how you execute the play pass. The quarterback does a great job of selling the run, and that freezes the defense long enough for his receiver to get open in the end zone for the score. The point after is good. The thing that most impressed me about that last drive was the offensive line. A strong offensive line is the first and most important component to an effective offense. He's just about ready to kick this one away. This one is taken by Sanford. Ball on their own 20. Goes with a four man front. He's brought down behind the line for a short loss. Big tackle there for a loss and great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. He knows how to prepare, and it really pays off when you make stops like that. Ball on their own 17. Ball on the 17 yard line. New Orleans comes out in their nickel package. With the pass, and the catch is made. Brown with a three-yard completion. That'll bring up third down. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20-yard line. Here we go. Here we go, baby. 
The Saints come out in a nickel package. Drops back. Pressure coming. Long throw. The 40. He has it. The 30. The 20. He has some room. The 10. Touchdown, Panthers. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. attempt is good. Now that's just the type of thing that you come to expect from these guys. They do a really good job scripting the plays that they're going to be running. And they do a great job of executing them when they run them. He got all of it. The defense looks to rebound after that last effort when they allowed a touchdown. First ball on two. their own 20. Ball on the 20 Let's go. Ruben, Ruben. The Panthers line up in a 4 3. A little misdirection. He just unloaded on it. Frazier. It's the ball on the counter, short gain about a yard. It's second down and nine to go. Carolina lines up in a 4 3. Drops back, fakes the throw, closing in, and it's intercepted. They stop him three times with interceptions, and that's why they're in the lead. Right. After the interception, they'll take over a good scoring position. They have a big, big lead, and they're on the move again inside the 20. Hands it on. Gordon is there on the stop at the 14. Number 20 busted through for a few tough yards. Ball on the 14 yard line. New Orleans using three linebackers. And off to the tailback. Freeman is there for the tackle. Okay, the 10. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. They need 10 for a score. Ball on the 10-yard line. These third downs haven't been much of an obstacle, and it's helped them to take the lead. Hand it off. Walsh is there on the stop at the nine-yard line. No game on the play. It's first and goal. Come on. Brown from the shotgun. Gets the pass off. Drops the interception. McCoy had his hands on it. He's a pretty good cover linebacker. He can run with most guys, and he gets good position. Then he reads the pass, and he makes his move. But he'll drop a few like that one. It's second and goal at the nine. All right, here we go. Three, two. Number 20 lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Gordon is there for the tackle at the four-yard line. Number 20 with a nice burst through the middle at time. Five-yard pickup. Right. 
It's third and goal at the four. Nice job so far on third down for the offense, and we'll see if that continues here. Freeman comes up to make the play at the three-yard line. That was actually designed for the quarterback to run, and that's just what he did. This will be a chip shot. The Through the uprights and good. It's good again for the second time today. Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get them a TD. in the air. This one is taken by number 89. The last time the defense was on the field, they forced a bad throw, picked up a takeaway. Ball on their own 20. Start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Alone, using split backs. Under pressure, puts everything behind this one. The pass ball is incomplete. That deep pass, incomplete. Nothing doing, and it's second down. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Carolina looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dime. Launches this one to the right, and he drops the pass. The quarterback did a great job of getting some air under that pass, hitting his guy right in the hand. It just looked like he might have lost a little focus as he tried to bring that pass in. Third and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Panthers come out on a dime package. With the throw, oh, oh. oh, he makes the catch anyway. A 15-yard gain right there on third down. First so they ten. have first and ten here. The Panthers with a four-man front. It off. Number 22 is there on the stop. Frazier runs us through the middle again of about six. Second and four. Ball on the 40 yard line. Let's go. Carolina with six defensive bounds. With the pass. Almost intercepted. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Third and four. Ball on the 40 yard line. What's the hard count? Come on! Get some slack going! Only one man in the backfield. Gets the pass off. And this pass is incomplete. The defender got in between the ball and the receiver again. Brown is ready to punt this one away. Sanford lines up deep for the punt return. This one goes out of bounds. So they have first and ten here. On the 38 yard line. New Orleans using three linebackers. Here we go. 
Hand it off. Misses the play. Brand comes up to make the play at the 43. Number 20 picks up some tough yards there. Ball on their own 43. The Saints line up in a 4-3. With a counter play. Mill is there for the tackle at the 46. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. The Saints with a four-man front. Fires this one deep. And he can't find a way to keep possession. It's the old adage, speed kill. So does the ball. McGrath will come in now to punt it away. Number 89. Looks like he's ready for the return. They'll spot this one where it went out. First and 10. Ball on the 14-yard line. Frazier, the lone setback. They give it to the halfback. What a stiff one. The defense held their positions and didn't let them get very far. One yard gain on that play. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Panthers ahead of the Saints, 34-10. New Orleans is going to need a huge fourth quarter if they expect to win this one. Ball on their own 15. Carolina with six defensive backs. Gets the pass off. Behind him, he has it. Sample is there for the tackle. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to throw it to. Him. So after Watch that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. On the team, team. On the run. Pass ball's incomplete. Clint was the intended receiver on that play. Second and ten. Ball on the 32 yard line. The Panthers line up in a 4 3. Here comes the blitz. Gets the pass off. It's complete. Perfect execution to get this first down. Look at it here. He knows how far they have to move the chain. And he gets it by making the right decision and laying it in there like that. the tackle. O'Neal is there for the tackle. They'll continue to use the ground game to move the ball. Ball on the 49-yard line. Carolina goes with a four-man front. Throwing. He hits his receiver. The Saints are having success on first and second down on this drive and haven't faced a third down situation yet. Up. 
So they have first and ten here. The Panthers come out in the fourth grade. Fakes the handle. He's going for it all. He made the count. The veteran is able to come down with a pass in the end zone. This is what good, experienced receivers do. They excel when they're given the opportunity to make big plays. The coach is telling them to go for the two. Alone with a man in motion. Drops back. Pressure with the throw. In for two. So they get the touchdown and now the two. He got all of it, and it sails out of the end zone. The Panthers will start this drive from the 20. Ball on their own 20. Orleans goes with a four-man front on the carry. Number 20 manages a yard or two on the delay play. Second and nine. Let's go now. The Saints line up in a 4-3. With the carry, fakes the handoff. Rowing. This pass is incomplete. White was his intended target. Mills had the coverage on the play. Consistent success on third down, which they've had, usually translates into a win. They brought some extra people but couldn't stop him before he got the first. And run blitzing these guys isn't a bad idea because you know they like to run. you got to be sure to bring guys in the right place. If you think they might run to the outside, additional blitzers in the middle isn't going to help you. Either. They'll go from the I formation. Number 87 in motion. Off to the tailback. Number 39 is there for the tackle at the 45 yard line. They get two first downs on two running plays. They're looking to pound it at him right now. First Ball on their own 45. Hey, what's that three? What's this? The Saints with a four man front. Pass play here on first down. Rowling, the 40. Butler is there on the stop at the 33 yard line. He's made some good throws and is now over 200 yards for the game. Ball on the 33 yard line. On the 33 yard line. New Orleans comes out in a 4 3. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Ooh, nearly picked off. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play. They let it get away. Second and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. Here we go, baby. The Saints come out in the 4-3. Let's go now. It's on. A little misdirection. Refuses to go down. Gordon comes up to make the play. Number 20. Rumbles forward for a gain of four. Right. 
And this is the eighth play of this drive. They've done very well on third down to this point. With the pass, the defense has it. Brown throws that one right to the defense, John. Yeah, he thought he had his man, but the defender was able to make that one move to get position, and it was over. So they're ready to go on offense oh, after the interception. They'll start at the 20-yard line. The Panthers with a four-man front. Setting up play action. Throws it. He goes up and grabs it. And you give him time to find a receiver. Yeah, and with this guy, he doesn't throw it behind him. He doesn't throw it over their head. He throws it where they're going. First Ball on their own 42. Ball on the 42-yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Yeah, you see me. Frazier is the deep back. Gets rid of it. Right on target to the wide receiver. Stone is there on the stop at the 49-yard line. Number 89. Appears to have sustained an injury and will make his way to the sideline under his own power. At the 43. So they get two first downs on their last two plays. And they're getting it done by seeing the whole field and taking what the defense gives them. Ball on the 43 yard line. Carolina comes out in their nickel package. Throwing. Target, but he goes down to make the catch. They completed the pass for a first down. And they did it against the cover, too. So the quarterback found a soft spot and he got it in there. Ball on the 33 yard line. Frazier, the lone back, closing in with the pass. We're going to spot this one at the 20. So that tackle was his third. As Jordan Stone continues to pile up. Ball on the 20-yard line. And they are telling us on the sideline that the injury is a dislocated shoulder. It's been put back into place, but he will not be returning to action in this one. Interception. O'Neal makes the fourth quarter interception. We've updated our turnover stat, and it looks like this. After the interception, they'll set up shot at the 17. Looking upfield, this one will be spotted at the 16-yard line. The tackle is his fifth of the game. Just back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. This defense can put the brakes on you real fast. Almost at the two-minute mark now. New Orleans lines up in a 4-3. And we've reached the two-minute mark. On the 16-yard line. Number 20, in the backfield, Paul, the motion man. Hand it off. Paul comes up to make the play at the 19-yard line. The defensive tackle surged through the line to bring the runner down. New Orleans pulls a timeout. They have two timeouts left. It's third down, and they have a long way to go. Out of the eye formation. Gets the call. 
Carter is there for the tackle at the 29-yard line. You don't see a fullback make those kinds of runs very often. Hey, when you talk about a fullback, you're usually talking about his lead blocking. This guy showed that he can pick up yardage just as good as he can block. They got nothing. Hey, watch the screen. New Orleans goes for the four-man front. Tucks it away. They'll spot this one at the 30-yard line. Solid game, except for the sack. Number 20. Takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Second and nine. Ball on the 30-yard line. We're talking about a green. Right, man. Hey, the go. Saints line up in a 4-3. is there for the tackle at the 35. Number 20 has had a great game so far. Now has over 100 yards rushing. Ball on their own 35. Ball on the 35-yard line. football. And we can attribute this lead to their ability to convert on third down. On the ground. They'll spot this one at the 43-yard line. It's a half dozen tackles now. That will keep the chains moving. Yeah, that makes two times in this drive they've given up the first down on third down. As a defensive coordinator, giving up those types of yards will drive you absolutely nuts. On the 43-yard line. Looks like they'll take a knee right here and savor the victory. He'll just take a knee. This game is presented by the authority of the National Football League and EA Sports. Any publication, rebroadcast, or other use of the descriptions and accounts of this game without the expressed written permission of EA Sports is prohibited. This is Al Michaels. Good night.